Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we'll be comparing two of the best LEGO City sets that you can buy right now. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 800 subscribers and also it's free and you have unlimited access to all my content. Anyway, let's get started. So we have two very cool themes going on here. We obviously have the aviation theme and the railway theme. So it's going to be pretty unfair if we're just going to compare them based on the themes. So what I'm going to do instead is we're going to compare each one of them of how well they do to their respective themes. It will make more sense later. First of all, let's take a look at the aeroplane. And it is a really good looking plane. Um, this hasn't really tried to um, recreate any specific aircraft um, currently in operation today. But aesthetically, um, it is definitely on point. I'm getting Hawaiian vibes with the yellow, um, the blue, and also just the overall aesthetic of the exterior of this plane is very, very nice. As far as design-wise, compared to um, previous LEGO City aircrafts, um, the nose, um, the new nose, that's definitely a welcome change. Also, the engines, I think the new one looks way better. Um, unfortunately, the landing gears um, aren't really the best design that LEGO can do, so the plane is going to lose a bit of points through there. Also, um, having this area without any windows, um, I th in my opinion, I don't think it looks as good as if they added windows here and here and same on the other side. It would have made the plane look a little bigger and just it would look just better overall. And also, if you don't know already, the plane is split up into two halves. Um, the first one is for um, passengers and the second one is for cargo, which LEGO did include a car type looking vehicle um, to transport within this plane, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and this type of like aircraft has never been done in the LEGO City aviation theme yet. So um, it's actually so I'm actually gonna increase points for that because I think that's pretty dope that they added it there. Taking a look, the interior, however, is I have mixed feelings about. The cockpit is phenomenal. This is by far the best and probably the most realistic cockpit ever made and ever can be made on um, a scale Lego City airplane. So I'm really happy with that. Moving backwards, um, by the way, this is like a TV panel would normally be here, but moving backwards is a crew seat and four passenger seats. I understand this plane is um, made up of a passenger area and a cargo area, but this is just disappointing. Lego could have at least added another seat here and two more seats here for passengers, giving a total of seven seats. Four seats for a plane this size is just unacceptable. Moving backwards is another opportunity for LEGO to add seats, and um, unfortunately they did not capitalise on it. This uh, baggage area I think is kind of like, kind of redundant because we do have like a specific area dedicated for cargo, so I don't really know why that is there. It really just feels like an attempt that they wanted to make a galley but didn't want to um, put too much parts, so they wanted like something to be here. So I'm not really too happy with um, the way that turned out. Over here is a really small bathroom. Um, it opens and closes um, like normal. Back there is a, um, some toilet paper. And over here is where drink cart is stored. So um, on the interior side of things, um, cockpit 10 out of 10. The rest of it is about a 6. So overall, this is a very well, well-designed, well-built plane, on the exterior at least. Cockpit is phenomenal, but with the interior, I feel like LEGO could have definitely made it better. Um, not a massive um, deal, if you ask me, to be honest, because this is just one of those things that you can, cu cu can customise in the future. The reason why I haven't customised it yet is because I want to show you guys like the original one of what you would get. Moving on to the train, this is a very nice train. Um, exterior wise, not as nice as um, the airplane in my opinion, but it's still pretty decent. I think aesthetically, it's a solid 7.5 out of 10. I feel like the colour scheme, um, the blue and the yellow don't really match, but um, the way it's just, the way like um, the stripes flow across the cabin and like um, having like the main cabin be grey and have like the blue accents, I think that's what really... Um, gives it the points up there. Also, one really cool thing is the way um, 
the trend connect is this is actually a magnet so you, it's just it's just that i think this is so simple and one of my favorite things about this set has to be the magnets that's just so well designed and really well thought out from lego overall i think lego got um the dimensions right for a lego city train of this size um which is something we'll talk about more in the interior so for the first carriage unfortunately there is no um interior there is this though which is um with a driver sits to um drive the train all we really get are two gauges and behind the driver um as you can see there's no interior so and the reason why there's no interior is because this area is used to store the powered the powered up unit which is essentially just a motor to make um like the train run by itself like for display settings such as making it go faster it can actually go quite fast without derailing you can slow it down stop it and even make it go in reverse for more details check out the full review link is in the description below but anyways here is the second carriage and um this is meant for food so let's take um the top off this does act like um, a modular building and here it is so over here Over here is a little worker, um, giving out, um, some food. So we can see here, here are a couple of cakes, um, a coffee machine, and a hot dog sitting right there. And as we can see, here's the little worker. Over here, there are two tables, um, you can see one has a croissant and just a cake and a um, standard coffee mug. There are no seats included, which I think is a bit odd because I don't really think um, on a moving train, passengers are gonna um, s stand up eating. So um, there's that. And it's not very well designed because, um, well, I think this is a, a cool feature having it like that. Um, it's just not enough because I don't think, um, we're gonna have like just two passengers in one carriage. I don't think that's very reasonable. Third carriage, even worse. Um, I'm not trying to be too critical on this, but unfortunately this is just so disappointing. Um, especially the price tag of this set is um, significantly higher than the plain one. But we just, it's just so disappointing because we, all we have here is four seats and a little area to store bags. We have Space over here, we have space over here. Lego could have gotten creative, um, made something with it, maybe um, redesigned the layout, but four seats. So overall, I'm pretty disappointed with this train set just because of how expensive it is. And when it actually comes down um, to just simple things like the interior, um, it really lacks a lot of details. Even though I understand that um, the reason why it's so expensive is because of powered up. But I really think that LEGO could have done better. It's just disappointing. So overall, I'm pretty happy with um, the aesthetic of um, the outside. The inside, it, you can obviously customize it. But I think that the parts given is just not sufficient enough. Now let's talk about the extras included in each set. Um, for the LEGO City train set, this is it. We get a... What is it? Is this a station? This is like... A bus stop size station, a bus stop size Lego train station. At least we do get um this thing. Uh, this is a sticker, by the way, but at least we do get that. And we also get this railway crossing. But what Lego really makes up for it is this. This is just a crazy amount of train tracks included. This is all included with this set, guys. This is a two liter ice cream container. And all these train tracks couldn't fit in this. Like, I'm not even joking right now. It's just crazy how many train tracks there are. And there's some on the ground as well. But this comes with a, a crazy amount of train tracks. Especially for, like, how expensive this set is. Definitely makes up for it. And just for fun, this is how fast the train can go. Um, it doesn't derail. Now let's take a look at the accessories included, which complement each set. Now this is actually really important because this has... Um, a lot to do with the playability factor of each set. Alright, so taking a look at the airport first. Um, unfortunately, LEGO really um, didn't deliver on this. This is by far the smallest airport LEGO has ever made. 
um, included with an aeroplane set, which I think is really disappointing. Um, it does come with a control tower. Um, I would have liked the control tower to be a freestanding building. Um, here's the interior of the airport. We get a really nice departure sign. I think that's probably like the only highlights of this airport. We get a tiny check-in made up of like, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five parts. Five part check-in, you'd love to see it. And um, over here is a vending machine, which I think is pretty dope. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's a nice little vending machine. And here is where passengers pick up um, their luggage. Unfortunately, no matter how functional, how good the airport is, it can never be a good airport just because of how small it is. I'm a massive fan of it. I love the design of the roof, um, like the little airport here and like um, the white, the color scheme. It, it looks phenomenal. I think my favorite like design wise, but it's just I can't give it any points because it's too small, unfortunately. Moving on to the ground vehicles, we do get this um, little leading cart, um, this forklift type um, vehicle, and a little car to transport in the plane. So the basic idea of this is you put the car um, on the forklift, drive all the way up to the plane. This would go up, and then um, the car would somehow line up here. And then the car would be elevated up like, kind of like this. I'm not sure if I can do it with one hand here. But yeah, like just like that. And um, be driven all the way up to the plane and be loaded up like that. So when it comes down to which is the better set, it's pretty damn close. Or is it? Well, I think this is the deciding factor. If you guys like aeroplanes more, go for the aeroplane set. If you like trains more, go for the train set. Both of them have their advantages and disadvantages and I think it's too damn close to actually make a informed decision of which is the better set. At the end of the day it does come down to personal preference. For myself personally, um, I like planes more and I definitely go um, for the plane set. You might be different um, and that's completely fine but what if you like both of them equally? Well, if you're an average Lego collector like me and you, go for the plane set. But if your intentions are making a detailed, a big detailed LEGO City, then I'd say the train set is probably the better option for you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 800 subs. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.